Hello friends, welcome to channel study guide. So friends, uh, we have appeared to the first phase or the first solve of the WBACTCL 2016 AE question paper. Mainly, we will discuss all the technical question. Okay. In our discussion, we will not discuss the non-technical question right now, but for the other competitive examination, we will of course discuss the non-technical question paper. But here, let us see what are the technical questions there and what was their solution. Okay. As I already told you, the previous year solution will not going to help you any thing. Okay. It will not help you to, it will help you to improve your study, that is up to, up to that, but it will not help you to getting your job. If you are not practicing well, if you are not studying well, that it will not help you anymore for your crack the government job examination. Okay. Now, let us see what are the questions was there. So, what is the first question? The first question is in a uniform electric field, the field lines and the equipotentials. Okay. What are the four options? The four options were are parallel to one another, intersect at the 45 degree, intersect at the 30 degree and are orthogonal. These are the four options. You have to, you need to find which, which option is the correct. Okay. So, uh, let me first write the solution for you. Okay. Let us take our digital pen and what is the digital pen says? The electric field vector, okay. what we can write the electric field vector is the negative of dv by the dl maximum at the unit vector of a n cap. This negative sign has a lot of significance here and this unit vector has a lot of significance. Why? Okay. We can also write the electric field vector E is the minus of gradient minus of grad V, you can write over here okay. or E equals to minus del V or E equals to minus del V. You can write anything over here. Okay. What all this signifies that it here I let us suppose that there is a charge over here, there is a positive charge. Okay. Now, electric field, what is the equipotential surface? Equipotential surface is the surface where the potentials are equal okay? and this all are the equipotential surface okay? where the potentials are equal. Okay? Uh, let me write it in the other color, I think color I change the, let me change the ink color. Okay? So, this is also equipotential surfaces. Why? Because particular in this point, this any point on this curved circle the potential is same, any point on this curved surface, the potential is same, any point on this surface, uh, the potential is also same. Now, what is the electric field? How can I find the electric field? Electric field was already I found that the E is equals to minus dV by dL. Okay? That is the rate of change of the length. Here, this negative sign signifies that the it is the in the direction like this one. It is approaching to the direction where the potential is decreasing as I am moving further from the Q. The potential is actually decreasing. Okay. As I move further, the potential is decreasing and now this vector, this uniform electric field vector is I can see that it is perpendicular, it is perpendicular okay, to the electric field lines of the vector. Okay. This electric field lines of the equipotential surface. Okay. Here say the uniform electric field and the field electric field, the field lines. This is the field lines and this is the equipotential. This is the field lines. Okay. This is the field lines. This is the field lines. This is the vector E. It is approaching where? It is approaching to the approaching where the potential is decreasing. Okay. So, the answer will be they are orthogonal. The field you can clearly see the field lines and the equipotential surface are clearly the orthogonal to each other. So, correct answer will be orthogonal to each other. Okay. And this negative 5 sign signifies that it is it is moving towards the decreasing the potential okay. and the maximum rate of change and this is the unit vector. Okay. 
along the direction of this potential is where the potential is decreasing. Now, move, so let us move to the next question. Now, in a transformer, the zero voltage regulation occur at zero voltage regulation at full load is. What are the four options? Let us see. The not possible, possible at unity power factor load, possible at leading power factor load, possible at lagging power factor load. So, what is the possible condition? Now, what is the formula? What is the formula for the transformer voltage regulation? Okay. The formula is E r cos phi 2 plus E x sin phi 2. Okay. Now, let us assume to be 0. Okay. In, in the question, this statement has uh, in a transformer zero voltage regulation. So, this is the formula for the voltage regulation and make it as a 0. Okay. I make it as a 0 and uh, so I can write over here E r cos phi 2 that is equal to minus of E x sin phi 2. Okay. Uh, next, I can write sin by cos sin phi by 2 by cos phi 2 sorry phi by 2 no phi 2 phi 2 by cos phi 2 that is will be minus e r by e x ok this is the tan phi 2 equals to minus e r by e x ok it can also be written as minus r e 2 by x e 2. Now, tan theta is negative, okay. tan theta is negative and this negative sign indicates us, this negative sign indicates us that the power factor is now, the power factor is now leading power factor, okay. this power factor is now leading one. Okay, this power factor is now leading one. Okay, so what is the correct option? It is possible at a leading power factor load. Option C. Question number two. Option C will be possible at a leading power factor load. Okay, so let us move to the next question. And a dual converter, the circulating current. Now, what is dual converter uh, in power electronics? I hope you have already studied about the dual converter. Okay, the dual converter has mainly two modes. Okay, one is the non-circulating mode and one is the circulating current mode. You already know. I'm not uh, writing any uh, where in the circulating current mode we need the inductor. What happens actually? Actually, in non-circulating mode, the current conduction is non-continuous. It's not continuous because there is a gap. Okay, but due to the presence of the circulating current in the circulating current mode, now the current becomes continuous. Okay. So, you can write over this. Okay. This is the, a theoretical based question, a depth of the theory, not in the numerical basis of question, but it is the theory that the reversal of the current is an inherently natural process and this natural process is very smooth. Why? Because due to the presence of circulating current. Okay. In circulating current conduction mode, whatever we require a small delay, about the millisecond delay in the non-circulating current mode, in circulating current mode, the delay time is just been removed. So, here we can expect a much a, a smooth reversal of the load current. Okay. And as the delay time decreases too much, so the speed of the response is also very, very faster. When we require a faster improved re reversal, then we will study or we will use the circulating current mode dual converter. Okay. Actually, uh, in circulating mode, in the non-circulating mode, there is a uh, delay time of the 20 to 10 millisecond. This delay time is obviously just eliminated, but here we require a costly inductor. Okay, to flow the continuous current for this delay time. Okay, so the answer will be option C. So you have to ne need to study your theory very well. 
Okay, so let us move to the next question. This question is rather easy than the other previous questions. Okay, damper winding is provided in a polyphase synchronous motor. Why the damper winding is provided? Uh, damper winding provided, it can be used. What are the options? Okay, let us see what are the options and which one is the best answer. Okay, dampen out the noise of the machine. Can it dampen out the noise of the machine? Uh, next, it uh, it uh, uh, written the prevent hunting okay and uh, option c written as provide starting torque and option d provide a cylindrical structure to reduce the wind friction okay how many of you answer the b okay how many of you i hope there will be someone or some people that will going to be answer option b but in this case as this damper winding are used in the polyphase synchronous motor one of the our best answer will be provided the starting torque because in the synchronous torque, synchronous motor is not an inherently self starting motor. So, uh, as due to the inherent not inherent self starting, it will be provided with the damper winding and this damper winding helps us to provide the starting torque. Okay. So, let us move to the next question. A unity feedback system has open loop transfer function of GS and unity uh, feedback system has open loop transfer function of GS. The steady state error is a 0. Okay. Steady state error is 0 for which one of the system? There are the four options you have. One is the step input and the type 1 system. One is a ramp input and the type 1 system. One is the step input and the type 0 system. And one is the ramp input and the type 0 system. You can answer this question or you can approach this question by any method. Okay. Uh, you can go for the shortcut and the tricky method of your chart ok. But as long as my advice, um, try to remember both the shortcut and also the derivation ok. In this particular video, I will show you both the shortcut and of course, the derivation ok. First let me write, let me write the shortcut first ok. Okay. Step uh, ramp and parabolic. Okay. Uh, stem ramp and parabolic type 0 type 1 and type 2 okay the one sorry this at the 0 this at the 0, this is the KP and this is the acceleration, KP, KV and this would be KV and this would be KA, okay. Mm, can I uh, you can treat like it as a upper triangular matrix, okay. okay. So now, what is my question? I can uh, very easily answer this question by this chart. Okay, but uh, you should not go by this method. Okay, you should not go by this method. The uh, uh, option is step input and type one. Okay, step input and type one. Yes, step input and type one. You can see uh, if you go like this one. This is a step input and this is a type one system and it is zero. Okay, uh, let us see any other any other options. Ramp input and type one. Okay, ramp input type one. Ramp input type one is a KV. It is uh, uh, any value, a finite value, it will be a finite value depending upon the system, okay, system gain. Next, uh, step input and type 0, step input and type 0, step input, this is a step input and this is a type 0. Now, step input type 0, that means it will also be a very fine, as a finite value. And uh, next, it will be 
ramp input and type 0 ramp input type 0 system it will be infinite the error will be infinite okay this is the error okay so by this chart i can easily answer that for the step input and type 1 system the ess will be zero but uh, i will tell you that no do not go by this method okay so uh, rather let us try to derive all those things okay okay uh, so what is the uh, ess will be limit of s tends to 0 s multiplied by r s 1 plus g s h s so okay sorry okay and this um, digital pen okay rather disturbed me very much from the beginning when i bought it okay now what is the r s r s what is the given r s is given as the 1 by s because it has already given us that is a step input okay okay let me see one thing so r s is taken as a by s for okay for the magnitude and uh, if i put here i just try to derivate it one okay so r s will just eliminate this s okay so it will become limit s tends to 0 s tends to 0 it will remove the s it will become 1 by 1 plus here i take h s equals to 1 right h s equals to 1 so this becomes my number okay r s is 1 by a by s so you can take it by a okay 1 by s and 1 by s will eliminate each other now g s g s what is the type of the system already i have derived the type of the system is type 1 okay let us write the type 1 system any type 1 system i can write s to the power 1 and 1 plus of this is the pole and let us there may be a zero okay okay there may or may not be a zero but uh, just just i consider that will not affect anything okay so this can be written as some a by 1 plus limit of s tends to 0 s tends to 0 1 plus t z s s to the power 1 1 plus t p s right now you can see if i put the limit okay this will be a finite value but s to the power 0 1 by s to the power uh, sorry uh, 0 to the power 1 that means only s is over written over here okay okay s is over written over if i 0 put a 0 what will be the answer okay what will be the answer the answer will be a by 1 plus this s tends to 0 becomes that means this limit is tends to be infinite okay this tends limit tends to be infinite i can write in infinity over here i can't write over here i only get calculate over here so that's something a definite value by infinity it will become zero okay and if you go by this method okay if you go by this method you can remember any and you can derive any tricky questions regarding particular this value uh, on your examination hall and if you go by the method of this chart you can't improve further okay for your any other examination preparation of any other exam Okay, I hope all my five questions and all the explanation have satisfied you and if you like our video, of course, share our video okay, and it will help you for your, uh, for your any other competitive examination, of course. And I will not say that this six solving of this 60 question will help you in your examination. I will again tell you, just study well, practice well and that will help you in your Tracking the WBCTCL as an engineer examination or any other examination. So, till then, bye and we will meet you short. And thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon too. Thank you.